there, guys. So let's uh, let's work on one issue, uh, one issue, or one uh, one little tip. If you need to blur an area, like let's say you have a video, you have your li your license plate, you want to hide the numbers or few numbers, you want to blur it. Uh, download or create your own PNG, transparent PNG, or something blurry. Uh, I'll show you with one that I kept that I'm using. You can download that or copy. Like screenshot, take, take a screenshot. You, you can take pretty much anything. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to delete that. Let's let's say taking a screenshot of piece of mountain. It doesn't matter. Screenshot is a screenshot. The screenshot is right here. So. Put it on top of the video where I have an object that I want to blur or hide. I will extend that to the entire length of the video because the object I want to hide is in the entire video. So let, let me show you first. You have the car. Let's say if I wanted to work on a license plate, is it's a little bit small. Uh, first, what I can do one function that you can use is crop to fill. I can reduce the size of the video and focus on that area. So pretty much the video will be, the, or the car will look a lot bigger. Okay, this is any picture that you want to copy paste. It's just right here. So that's a mountain that I screenshot. Use the function picture in picture. Okay, it is right here. And don't forget one thing. Uh, if you use picture in picture and leave that here, for the entire length of the video, it will be in the same position. Put it in a corner, it will stay in the same position. However, if you click on that little icon right there, delete keyframe at the playhead, it is going to move wherever you put it at each keyframe. It is going to stay, I'm going to remove that fading. It's going to stay wherever you put it. So let, let's say I go in the middle. I put that here. I did not that for the other one. Look at that. Oh, it's it's. Actually, it's moving to the middle. And then staying in that position for the rest of the video. So, let's say I want to cover the gray car. Let's say the gray car is a license plate or whatever object you want to you want to hide. So select it. This will need to be in the picture and picture function. You can increase the size, decrease the size, even during the video. And go on each keyframe or each frame and you adjust. You know, use the scrubber up, click as soon as it is going out and just readjust it. Okay, I'm gonna readjust it right here. And keep on moving up. Go back at the beginning. The beginning was in the corner. Extend the size. Okay, I just want to hide the gray car. Okay, here we go. I think I got it all the way. So you see now when I'm scrubbing from the beginning of the video. Of the video. Here we can. Uh, so when. The point of the video is not to make it perfect, but anyway, if I'm scrubbing, check the car is moving. So look at the position of the little picture that I copy pasted. It is moving with it. You don't see the gray car anymore. So it's up extrapolating the size and the position of it. Let's say, let's go on that one. So the video with a tennis ball. Let's take a little screenshot. I make it big to make it uh, faster. Okay, so first of all, let me put them on the side. See the tennis ball is going 
up and down and left and right on the video I've done another post okay like the other example here we go picture and picture make sure you check mark that one I put that on the tennis ball. I'm going to move the feeding. Oh, actually, I'm going to move the feeding to see the position that it is behind it. Cover that. See how I'm spreading. Pressing on the video, adjusting the position of the picture you're using to hide or blur the other object. And the other one is area. I made that a little bit bigger to make it faster. And this behind the shelf, so no. Remove that. If I move along, you won't see the tennis ball anymore. This gives a feeling. Since I, since I could paste it the ground pretty much. So I can play that. You see a little bit. I don't want shape, but it's almost invisible. Just remove that from the picture. So it's very interesting what you can do. And that was an example made in two minutes. So uh, if you fine tune that, uh, you can really make some amazing, uh, some amazing effects and hide anything that is unwanted on the video that you have already taken that you don't have the the power to retake. It might be too time consuming or you're not in the area anymore. So that's a, that's a good li little trick. It's magic. Okay, if you got any question or comments, guys, just put that in the video and I will answer as much as I can. And uh, hopefully, do some other tutorials. If there are some other tricks that you don't know that you want to know about, let me know and I will either know or I will find out for you guys. Okay, thank you. And don't forget, share and subscribe, guys. Thanks.